Here is my workout. So I need to get a car wash, get a little bit gummy today. Our mental health is always put in the back burner. I remember I would like go into the supply closet and wipe my tears and then I would care about my day. Just finished a three mile run. Here is the aftermath of what it looks like after a workout and I have my little fan there. Here is my workout. I did three miles after I run and then some hit training. So literally like one hour. I have quite a few things to do today. So I need to get a car wash, get some gas, buy things from Trader Joe's. I'm working on some new ideas. I really want to wash my sheets and I keep watching my footage and I realize my mirror is really dirty. But at least I finished my workout. Life hack, if you can't freaking get anything done, just set a timer. So, I'm gonna clean all this up, then take a shower. And now I am showered. It is clean, at least cleaner. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine, and I usually have eyebrows on, but I haven't put them on just yet. If you haven't already followed my social media, don't forget to at Jasmineers. And today I just wanted to take you along with me while I run some errands. Last day off before I go back to work tomorrow. The plan for today is I'm gonna get like, some gas, get the car wash. I've already worked out, and I've taken you guys on my workouts quite a bit already, so I didn't want to bore you to tears with my workout. We're gonna look a little bit bummy today and we're gonna just wear sweats and a sports bra. And then this will make my outfit look a little bit less dingy. Yeah, definitely time to get gas. Look at that, I'm pretty damn close. Plan is I am gonna go to Costco, hopefully get some gas pretty quickly because it is noon and I don't know if people like to get gas on the lunch breaks or whatever. We're gonna go to the car wash because look at this. That's gross. Okay, uh, let's get gas real quick. My mask is gonna be. I don't know why I bought this mask. I feel like nobody takes me seriously. Okay, honestly, the inside of my car isn't too horrible, it's really just the outside. I love this car wash, what the heck. Um, they give you, first of all, they give you like this little wipey thing. So I guess they kind of get you in the habit of coming here because what happens, the first time you get the platinum, it's 14 and then after that, it's seven. one of these um, my car is honestly not that dirty so I just need to wipe it down a little bit car wash is like there's really not that many people like there's definitely a lot more social distancing versus the other one that's closer by my house. I don't know, I think it's better. It's a little bit ways away, but it's more important to find a car wash that's like more quality. The next thing on my to-do is um, I need to go to Trader Joe's. And I ate a little tiny bit of a cliff bar. I have it in my bag actually, but it's not like deal. I don't know, I'm used to eating later. I try to intermittent fast, 
but I don't really get that hungry. I usually get hungry around like one-ish. The only errand I have left to do right now is to go to Trader Joe's and pick up a salad and get more matcha. And I've been trying to drink more matcha versus getting coffee, but I'll see you guys there. Head north. I am gonna park over here so I don't have to get too close to people. Oh, there's not too many people today. <laughs> That's good. She said, this is the matcha that I like to get. It's like literally only four bucks. It's pretty much it for my errands that I need to actually go out and do. But I'll do a little grocery haul for you all. So I got some soy milk. I like the vanilla. Oops. The vanilla flavor because it's easy to mix with my latte. I got these date bars because they're a lot better for you than having actual like cereal bars. And then I got this for my lunch tomorrow at work. And then this is really what I needed the most of. And this is my matcha latte powder. It's so cheap here. I probably should have just bought two because I use a lot of the powder. I love this song. Um, <laughs> Today's lunch, it's going to be some broccoli with cheese, mashed potato, and some beef with some corn. And I have this huge thing of water I'm going to drink as well. And I really want a pear, so I'm going to eat one of those too. For the first time I've washed this mirror in years. Alright everyone, so I finished with lunch and I just thought I would sit down and talk with you all because I feel like I haven't talked and sat down with you for quite a while. Um, I made my matcha latte and it's actually a lot different than I normally make it because the powder itself, it's a latte and it's really 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 sweet. So normally I would put matcha, then the soy, and then add a little bit of stevia, but now all you have to do is mix it with water, and I didn't realize that. So, still recommend if you haven't tried it already. I really do like it, but I don't know how exactly caffeinated it is. So I'll let you know, probably after today. But I just wanted to talk about something that I saw online, and you may have seen that I posted it on my story. YouTuber Holly... Rochek did, I don't know how to say her last name, vlogged and she had like went somewhere for her friend's wedding. She got a lot of backlash for it. Someone commented that she was promoting non-essential travel during this time. So, so, so important to realize is that although a lot of people consider these healthcare workers, um, people who are heroes, people too. And I wish I could have phrased that better, but the thing is we're not these superheroes that the media and everyone tries to portray us as we're real people and even though we work as healthcare workers it doesn't dehumanize us we do our jobs day in and day out the way that everyone else does and we do hold nursing to a very 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 high standard I understand that and sometimes it's easy to think that we're supposed to be the these model citizens for the rest of everyone, but we're really people too, and outside of a hospital, we still also have lives. I think that's one of the reasons why I never wanted my channel to be solely based around nursing. I think a lot of people do enjoy like my nursing videos and following my journey of nursing and such, but something to consider is that I myself, as like a young female nurse, I also have a life outside the doors of a hospital and that's why I try to diversify my channel to make people realize but something that I want to consider is that healthcare workers sometimes we don't always have the best coping skills when I first started on my 12 hour shifts I remember there was a time where I literally just wanted to run out and literally cry and go home but the reality is you have to hold those emotions in and wait until your shift is over and then deal with those 
motions afterwards. I remember I would like go into the supply closet, wipe my tears, and then I would carry about my day. Our mental health is people too, always put in the back burner because of the job that we do and we can't necessarily always take that time to ourselves when we're at work. So it's important for us to be able to facilitate self-care outside of work and because we're working with these COVID patients that we shouldn't be going out and we shouldn't be promoting any non-essential travel and it's hard to say that because social distancing and such we also need time to take care of ourselves as well it's hard for a lot of people to find that work-life balance and to have that self-care and f like stable mental health during this this time one of the first phases of the pandemic of course everyone was like stay home don't go anywhere you're safer at home which well, is true, it's always true that you're gonna be safer at home, but I think me working in the ER, I can tell you right now that I feel like ever since this has happened, the amount of mental health cases has spiked. And I think that people should be cutting people in general some slack because this is a weird time for everyone. And mental health is such an important thing that's so easily overlooked and I don't think. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that we should all be cutting each other a little bit of slack during this time because I think that a lot of the times people think that healthcare workers are these strong-willed, like strong-minded people and because we're working with COVID patients, we should be self-quarantining and never seeing any of our family members and the reality is I live with seven of my family members so there's obviously no getting around that. I remember during the first stage of the pandemic, I literally didn't see Alex for like a month, which was obviously hard, but with time and with everything going on, I know it's difficult to constantly social distance but it's important to also keep in mind that mental health is also important and I think finding that balance between both is difficult especially in the eyes of the public in the eyes of what's going on in the media I think people tend to overlook it and that we're just people too at the end of the day and we're trying our hardest while also trying to keep ourselves in check but anyway, of course, with all of that being said, if you are going to go out or if you are going to go travel, obviously go use some sanitizer, bring a mask, minimize the amount of contact you have with people, get tested. Also, COVID testing video didn't have as many views, so I want to put this out here. There is free COVID testing at LAH.com. Um, this is where I got it, and I know because my facility doesn't test unless you are symptomatic as well as um, the insurance I have that company also doesn't test unless you're symptomatic but this is funded by the government so you should go ahead and try it to go if you haven't ever been tested it's not that bad I know I dramatized it but it's honestly worth it it's super super quick like if you watch my video literally within two minutes I was out so it's definitely something I would consider if you are gonna go see your friends, see your family, or whoever. It gives you some peace of mind that you know that you've been tested and that you do not have it. Um, I don't know the accuracy of these tests, um, but I do think it's honestly better than nothing. Um, and Alex, me, my family, we've all been tested. And it doesn't hurt to get tested a second time either. It does take a while to get the results, but I do recommend that you at least try because I know a lot of places are more strict on who they're testing. Um, another thing I want to piggyback on to um, in terms of mental health and nursing is I always thought that I would be kind of like a night person. I remember one of my first videos that like kind of got more views was how to pull an all-nighter for um, study and I thought I was a night person but turns out I'm really not <laughs> and I think the fact that I was doing night shift some people are such troopers they do it like literally four times a week and I have no idea how they do it but when I was doing it I would literally get so depressed about it because I wasn't sleeping properly. I would sleep two hours and then I would sleep like 15 hours and that's like 
pretty drastic. And my days off, I would feel really off and I just wouldn't feel like myself. And my god, you... Night shift is a completely other beast, but I it wasn't for me and I wish I could have said that it was because obviously that shift differential makes a big difference, but it doesn't make a difference on your life if you are able to change and I'm glad that I did even though it's way way busier on the shift that I'm on I'm happy that I made the change because honestly it's a shitty shift but at least once I get home I am able to sleep and get some rest and I really like just having the quiet once I get home making that change is honestly the best thing for my mental health because I think that it was so mentally debilitating at work already the fact that once I got home I wasn't I was like having anxiety and I couldn't sleep and shift is so hard for me and I only did it for like eight months yeah and it was really difficult so props to everyone who's doing it um especially during these trying times I switched to like a, it's still kind of nights but it's two to two and I think it's made a big impact on the way I've been feeling. It's kind of just like a random rant about mental health, I guess, because honestly, it's something that I feel like is easily overlooked and that everyone thinks that during these quarantine days that we're supposed to be like super productive all the damn time, but sometimes you have to take a step back and think about your self-care as well. It's a socially weird time and we're going to face the repercussions of it probably in the years to come. Even like the kids that are supposed to be in school right now, developing social skills aren't able to do so and it's going to be really weird to see the effects of that later on. Although we should be staying safe and washing your hands, putting on masks, socially distancing, um, also think of other people as well because everyone is struggling whether you see it or not. And that's all. <laughs> I really don't know what I was trying to get at, but it's essentially that healthcare workers are people, people are people, and we're all struggling during this time and that we should all try to work together. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, if you guys haven't already, followed my social media, at JazzTheNurse. I will link it right here. If there's anything that you've seen in the vlogs that you're interested in, um, it's either on my Amazon storefront or you can also comment down below. Don't forget to like this video to help my channel grow and to comment down below if you're also feeling a little bit off lately. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next vlog.